Good morning and welcome back to the Ox Life. This is our new series, Clarity for the Culture. We got more rounds and more matchups to go. Uh, we're here today, Sunday, June 14th, about 11 11. And I'm accompanied by Cedrico. Ta da! Always in the building. Also, Uncle Keese over here. Uncle Keese. Um, I picked a new name. AKA um. Mr. Marcus. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, Mr. Marcus Stun Double is in Captain the building. Captain Pornhub in the building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Feel me? Real. I think it should be a new name. We should what? probably put a comparison up, like side by side on our page. What? Put a dad hat on just and, just, see, and just do just Mr. Marcus? Just LA hat and Mr. Marcus and see if. There's some resemblance. If my DMs yeah. light the hell up, I swear to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But we're back. We're back again today. Well, we're back. I just said that a few times. But we are back. Uh, we have a new matchup today. A lot of matchups. A lot of close matchups. Um, these are going to be our six seeds that moved on. Year. So um, we're going to get it started. We're going to jump right into it. Our first matchup is Steve Harvey, which was the two seed, uh, facing off against the Jeffersons, which was the three seed. Mm-hmm. So let's start off. Well, before we get started, let me introduce our two new uh, criteria segments here. We also added sustainability and theme song in addition to star power supporting cast and guest appearances, which mm-hmm. is what we've been judging it off of thus far. So we added two more elements. And when we go into our next round, we're going to add two more elements to that. So it'll be seven. Um, but I feel like we got we got some good sitcoms today. We got good criteria. Yeah, I think sustainability. Good, uh, good argument. Sustainability, definitely. It's like hit or, like it's yeah. black and white, so. You're still gonna lose, dude. I don't know why you're stretching for it. What are you flexing for? <laughs> first of all, we have been at a lose. First lose, of all, they didn't say round hand. one fight yet, so don't uh-huh. don't don't dude, don't get for, don't get Adrian Broner right dude, about now. Broner, He's that guy. I okay. hope he comes back and whoop ass. Yeah, anyway, all right. I hope he just mentally gets himself together. <laughs> Facts. Um, all right, so let's get into it. We got Steve Harvey. Like I said, the number two C versus the Jeffersons. Let's jump into our first segment here, which is star power. So we got Steve Harvey. Obviously, he was Mr. High Tower, mm-hmm. and uh, he's facing off against Sherman Hemsley, who was George Jefferson. Yes, in the sitcom. So who are we leaning towards when we think of star power? Sherman Hemsley, the goat. <laughs> he is the goat over Steve Harvey. Sorry, he is the goat. I'm gonna keep it a buck. He is the goat. He's the goat. He is the goat. But that's not my friggin' pick. I'm going with. You going with Steve, Steve Harvey, Harvey Hightower? I, oh, wants the kings of comedy. You can't get no better than that. You feel me? Sherman Hemsley is pretty much like the no. Sherman is the goat. Don't get me he's wrong. He's like the gatekeeper. Okay, I don't know about the gatekeeper, but he's the man. Don't get me one wrong. of the gatekeepers. No, there's only one gatekeeper, and that's Red Fox. Let me help you guys out. Uh, if Steve Harvey is the king of comedy, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. Even, yeah, I'm going Steve Harvey too. Film me. I'm going Steve Harvey. He should gonna um, lose. Fuck out of here. You know, That's I really feel like he's area. If it was Red Fox, I'd probably give it to Red Fox. But Sherman Hemsley, I can't. I can't give it to. No Sherman um, Hemsley. No Sherman Hemsley. Yeah, no. I just feel like Steve Harvey was just better in his sitcom. Than mm-hmm. mm. Yeah, damn. No, 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 no. I, 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 nope, 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 don't do it. I'm going to stick with my pick. I'm going to have some conviction with it. I'm going Steve Harvey. Mr. Hightower was a really good character. Tell for me. kids, for him to be a positive influence amongst kids in comparison to Sherman Hemsley, who just got rich, and I must say move on up again. But for Sherman <laughs> Hemsley, who just got rich, and then like his humor was kind of yelling at people and kind of demeaning them, I'm not sure if I support that all the way. So I got I got Steve in this one. He was like somebody's angry grandfather. Yeah. Like just yeah. screaming at you all day. Right. You know that freeze got it out the mud. He got it out the mud, got up out of there, man. Moving on rich. up to the east side. If I got rich. I think you're getting into got a piece of love. I think you're getting into theme songs, which is a little later on <laughs> in our uh, in our thing. So let's move on to supporting cast here. I just want to list it out for our audience. The Steve Harvey show, there was Merlin Santana, who was Romeo, uh, Wendy Robinson, who was Regina, Cedric the Entertainer, who was said, William Scott, which was Bullethead, and then Terry Vaughn, which was Levita. If you remember her full name, it was like Levita Alize Hennessy Henderson or something, something like, like that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, pretty nuts. So that. she was a principal, but yet came from a different background. Mm-hmm. And then with the Jeffersons, there's Isabel Sanford, who was Luis Arweezy, um, Maria Gibbs, who was Florence, and that's it. That's it for them. So, who has what for supporting cast? Well, you know, fellas, it comes a point in time where you just got to face the facts. Um, (laughs) And then when the facts is shown and presented, 
you have to go what's presented on that. I'm talking bullshit. So I'm going okay. with supporting cast with uh, Steve Harvey. Mm. I'm going with Mr. Hightower. Why? Yeah. Because yeah. Terry Vaughn. Mm. I love Terry Vaughn. Wendy Robinson. Mm. Terry Vaughn's phenomenal. Mm. She's 51, too, today. Actually. Who? Rest in peace, Wendy, Romeo. Marvel Wendy Santana. Wendy Is that, that's Cedric's like wife on the show, right? No, oh, uh, right. Terry Vaughn is is Cedric's wife's on the show. That's what she just said. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, what? I think I was confusing. Oh. Yeah, Terry Vaughn is the mm-hmm. Levita. Is Levita? Levita and she Sam. actually fits that that mm-hmm. whole like demeanor on there too. She reminds me of um, what's the com- the women comedian who was on Girls Trip. Tiffany? Yeah, she Tiffany reminds me Haddish. of Tiffany Haddish Tiffany, before Tiffany, Tiffany Haddish, Haddish. kind of came about. So. Facts. A, lo- a little bit, a little yeah. bit, a little bit, a little bit. Steve so you Harvey. got Steve Harvey. You have Steve Harvey as well. With Why? the landslide. It landslide. I'm not letting you do that. With the landslide. How? You got another half of the Kings of Comedy on there. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You, you, you retracted like, right about it because you, you were just full on with Sherman. Mm-hmm. The star power. Supporting mm-hmm. cast. This is a different section we're talking about, Marquise. Mm-hmm. Smell the coffee in the room. I had it already. Uh, I'm the only one. Rest that in has peace, coffee. Merlin Santana. Yeah. Romeo. Um, he played an excellent role in that. Bullethead that played the airhead. Bullethead was funny in there. Yeah, I like, he was but he hilarious. he fit that little he fit that character a little bit. Then you have Romeo the, definitely fit his character. Then you have Levita and Regina. That's woman of color inside the office mm-hmm. which is very powerful around that point in time which comes for representation so I'm not going to discredit um, I'm not discrediting but there's a Isabel lot Isabel Sanford and Marie Gibbs so I'm not I, there's a lot going on there so Steve Harvey with the supporting cast I'm only this is a pick from my childhood so that that's the main reason why I'm going with it because I literally watched it <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> I got Steve Harvey too. Uh, supporting cast: Marlon Santana, Romeo, Bullethead. Mm. I remember the episode where Bullethead gets electrocuted, and then he becomes a genius, and he's able to do numbers. Mm. And then like he goes back to normal, and then they try to shock the hell out of him again. So I thought it was a good supporting cast. I think all the characters were kind of sustainable throughout. Um, I think Merlin there could be an episode done on him. Bullethead, there was an episode done on him. So they were able to kind of rotate their characters, and it didn't solely it wasn't solely based on Steve Harvey. Like it didn't like live or die off Steve Harvey. Uh, not to mention Steve Harvey and Cedric, the entertainer, they were roommates. And just them living together, I thought yeah, that was entertaining yeah, yeah. as well. So it showed a side of them that I feel like the Jeffersons didn't really get to show. It wasn't like another side besides them in the house. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got supporting cast Steve Harvey. No? No? So right now it's Steve Harvey, 2-0, 2-0. And then you have both tied for you, 1-1. All right, so let's get into guest appearances. Again, it's let me just list them something. out. Let Whatever. Me, let me list out the guest appearances for Steve Harvey. Uh, there was Lady of Rage, Keenan Thompson, Bianca Lawson, who doesn't age at all, Kel Mitchell, Ron Isley, Icon, Christina Milian, Brian McKnight, Bow Wow, also known as Shad Moss, uh, Snoop Dogg, Boris Kojo, Megan Good, Busta Rhymes, and Jerry Springer. Facing off against the Jeffersons, who had Sammy Davis Jr., Legend. Smoke and Joe Frazier, Legend. Reggie Jackson, Legend. Gladys Knight, Legend. Michael Spinks, legendary, got knocked out by Mike Tyson. Uh, <laughs> Donald Trump and Jaleel White. Ooh. That's it's pre, purple. it's pre, it pre-president. Just I'm pre-president, pre-president though. I'm keeping that same energy as I did before. So I'm going to go first consistent. and take the honors and exclude the Jeffersons out and go with Steve Harvey for guest appearances. Lady of Rage, which is iconic. Ron Isley. Lady Ooh. of Rage is iconic. What she not play the? She played that's a, Afro. A, that's a, a big. I'm rough and stuff with my Afro a, puffs. A big part of hip hop. That's Baby D. Can y'all name four songs? Hmm. I just named Lady one. <laughs> Can you name four songs of Lady Rage? Should, no, I can't honestly. But so she how played, we call her iconic? She played a big. Well, we is no, it's him. Okay. He said iconic. Is she not? Is she not a hip hop figure? For, she is a. She the, is a hip hop figure, yeah. but people in hip hop know of her. But when you say iconic, like I think you transcend the genre of music. Like if you, you said Lady Rage to someone outside, like, like what? Uh, I'm going outside. I need <laughs> to talk to Baby D. Okay. 
she might be known, well, she, more known for being she's, baby D. She's than, known. If she pop up in a room full of hip hop heads, they know. Well, I, I can say female so she, hip hop heads. I'll say uh, she's she, respectful. She's respectable in her field. She's well respected in her field. At she's, that time, she was. Well, I'm not going to front. She was. She she was that guy. She's a pioneer. She's a hip hop pioneer. And we can't name four songs. Nope. Listen, this we this we nonsense. I, is, he I, says I, iconic. I didn't I, I didn't grow up on Lady of Rage, so I honestly can't tell you. But I know enough that she's a pioneer in the hip hop scene around her time, and she's very well respected in her field. She is respected. I'm going with guest appearances for Steve Harvey. Sorry. These are all legends here. Jeff says I love you <laughs> so much, but He's, I'm you're just saying going. Steve Harvey has legends. No, I, oh, okay. I, I'm just I'm a like fan. Christina I'm just Milian a, and Bow Wow or Legends. I'm not going with the Bow Wow Challenge, and I'm not going <laughs> with. Uh, I would go with Christina Milian, yeah. but whatever. No, but th- these are Bow Wow holds that we of the youngest to like sell whatever how many records he sold. He's Jerry Springer. I mean, I don't feel like now. that record's gonna last long now, especially since we have YouTube and there's like other younger kids who are doing it. But I think I'm going with the Jeffersons on this one. I mean, we talked about iconic. Sammy Davis Jr. is iconic. Rat Pack, he's, it's phenomenal. Smoking Joe Frazier is a Hall of Famer. You think about his belts with Muhammad Ali. I mean, it'll go down in history. Reggie Jackson is a Hall of Famer. Um, Gladys Knight, I'm sure, is inducted into some musical Hall of Fame. Uh, I mean, say what you want about Trump, but I mean, he's a you know big what? figure. He's a huge figure. You know I mean, what? Can I change my answer? Big if I can change what? my answer and pick Sherman Hemsley instead of Steve Harvey now, then you can change yours. I, I, you know what? I'm going with quality over yeah. the the quantity of people yeah. that they had on the show. Right. Only because these are like Christina legends. Christina Milian, Kel Mitchell. Like, Kel and Keenan got knocked out the first round. Like, to the Jeffersons. I'm not I'm not picking them. Jerry Springer and Brian McKnight makes up for it. Brian McKnight Island. has been on three. How the hell does sitcoms? Jerry Springer and Brian Run. McKnight made it, yeah. make up for it? Mm-hmm. How does Jerry Springer make up for the people that we just named? Is that yeah. not the most random pick? For a Steve Harvey show, who would have thought Jerry Spring would be on the show? Nobody ever saw that coming. What do you mean? Jerry Spring is everywhere. Yeah, he's listed on a few more. He was, he was, listen, he was everywhere. Mm. At that, he was everywhere at that That's time. He makes up. No, he don't I make up. With no. Kenan and Cal, he's so, for the culture, but he. Ain't. So you're you're going on to my side now. You're picking the Jeffersons for guest appearance. Yeah, because okay. those are these are these are iconic people yeah. that are listed here. Yeah. These are people that they actually sampled. Mm-hmm. For uh, especially Sammy Davis, yeah. um, Gladys Knight, they always sample mm-hmm. music from them up until this day. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. Even some of the people that was on um, the Steve Harvey show mm-hmm. with their music and everything like that. So yeah. I just, that's the reason why I'm going with this. I do want to shout out Ron Osley, though, on the Steve Harvey show, though. Like, mama, I wish mama, he was on that mama. side. I pick a side yeah. with Donald Trump on it and loses. I mean, but we did. So. I mean, <laughs> before he became president, you liked him <laughs> as a businessman. Yeah. So nah, if he wasn't he president, you wouldn't have the same hatred towards like, him. Like, damn, I, I wish I had that though. Donald Trump money. Okay. I, I don't think I ever said that. I just oh, said okay. he's a good so businessman. We're, we're straying from our criteria. We still have two more left here. Uh, sustainability. I feel like it's pretty black and white. Just how long did shows go for? Uh, so for the Jeffersons here, they lasted... Ten years. From, ten yeah, 1975 to 85, so 10 years. And Steve Ho- Steve Harvey show went from 96 to 02, um, which was six years. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think it's hard to argue. No. Like, numbers Jeffersons don't lie. Jefferson's got that one. Yeah. So, just a, more info. Uh, the Jefferson's was 10 years, 253 episodes. That's crazy. That's a 253 lot of episodes. 10 years. Of worth. the Jefferson's. Um, and then the Steve Harvey show was six years, 122 episodes. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad, but it's not the Jeffersons. Yeah, of course not. That's not the Jeffersons. So I mean, I clearly got the Jeffersons. That's, that's yeah, I got the Jeffersons with that. Ten years, like Jeffersons. Even if, though if the Harvey, if Harvey went four more four more years, they probably would have reached two. What was it? what was the Jeffersons? Two fifty what? Two hundred and fifty three. They probably would have got close to that if they went four more years. Even if they would have like had six more years, if they would have doubled it, it would have been two. I think they still would have been short, even if they had six more years. Mm-hmm. One twenty-two, yeah, two twenty, yeah. They still would have been short, not by much, but yeah. So, I got the Jeffersons. You I got the Jeffersons. Jeffersons. Jeffersons in the landslide. Truth I mean, is in ten the years versus six. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got our new criteria here, which is theme song. I think this is gonna add a lot of fun to our arguments here. Now, before we get started, I will pay. Anyone ten dollars right now? If you could sing the lyrics to the Steve Harvey theme song, they had a theme song. Yeah. First of all, um, 
how dare you put us on a spot like this? Like, I mean, I know it, but I don't know it. What was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know what the fuck the theme song I mean, was. I, I forgot that they had a See, I know I should have did what the fuck I had wanted to do before we did this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me be completely honest. Like, Steve Harvey's show doesn't even, like, the theme song doesn't exist. It's a jazz. It starts off with a beeper. Ah, it starts off with a beeper. With the saxophone. And it goes with the saxophone. Like, there's no lyrics involved whatsoever. It had a little jump kick in it. So, you wasn't going to pay the damn $10 any damn way. Yeah, because there's no song that exists. I know. I know the ending goes, bam, 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 And then it goes, ah, and then it pans out into the end of the show. I know that. I know that much. I know that much. I just did a short, short interlude. You sounded yeah. like you played, like, <laughs> me? you like the one who created the shit. I something. did. Uh, so I'll go first on this one. Just when I look at theme song, I think of, like, something that's memorable, something catchy, something that, like, if it plays or if you sing it out loud, other people can join in. And I think it's clear that the Jeffersons wins the theme song. Yes. We're moving on up to East Side. Like, come on. Come on. We, yeah. It's the Jeffersons. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Jeffersons. I'm not even going to front. Finally got mm-hmm. a piece Proof is in the pudding. Fish do do fry in the kitchen. Ain't no burn on the grill. I took a whole lot of honey. Okay. Just to hit up that heel. Let's not get let's not get fined. so with that being said, I think we're done with our criteria for this first rap this first matchup here, Steve Harvey versus the Jefferson. So just summarize your rounds. Who do you have? Who you're giving to what so our audience knows? So I have Damn, let me think about this, actually. Yep. Steve Harvey has star power. Yep. I went with supporting cast with Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. Guest appearances I gave to the Jeffersons. Yep. Sustainability, Jeffersons, theme mm-hmm. song, Jeffersons. Yeah. So That's that is what? 4-1, four one. Four I think. one. Yep, four yeah. to one. I'll go next. Uh, I had I changed. I picked Sherman Hemsley. And then for supporting cast, I had the Steve Harvey show. Guest appearances I gave to the Jeffersons. Sustainability was the Jeffersons, hands down. Theme song, Jeffersons, hands down. I got the Jeffersons, 4-1. And it's close 2-3 matchup. Yes. <laughs> Star power, Jeffersons. Supporting cast, Harvey show. Guest appearance, Harvey show. Jefferson sustainability and theme song. So Jefferson's four two. No, it was only right. No, Stop it's like power. three two. Three two. Yeah, because we only have five criteria. Oh right. yeah, right. I had me tripping. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, damn, you added the extra one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, those are our votes. That's what we got going on. But, again, it does not matter what we think. It matters what you think. Uh, so, if you can, get out, go on our page, vote. I uh, think we might try to add it onto Facebook as well. Uh, the polls have been going well. Um, so, just keep it up and let your voice be heard. Let your show continue on. So Also, when you make uh, the pick of your favorite TV show, mm-hmm. leave a comment as to why under the picture. Right. We want to know why about to start pressing it's your pick. Yes. Some stuff needs some explanation. Yes. So. like you're, I think y'all are just choosing shit just to be like, oh, but it's now easy. you're, you're going to get it. Explain yeah. yourself. We see who votes, by the way. Like, exactly. We can check. <laughs> so we'll press you. Um, all right. So with that being said, I mean, that's our first matchup, and we'll see you shortly after our intermission. Yeah. All right.